Hello children. Now we will see lesson number 11. Types of houses. See here children. Lesson number 11. Types of houses. EVS. Environmental studies. ICS grade 1. So this is just a fun activity for you. Just see here. What is written here? Let's get started. So we here there are the names of few animals and their homes. Few animals and their homes. See which animal is it? This is a bird. So B I R D bird. Birds live in nest. Birds nest. N E S T nest. Who is this? So lion. King of forest, right? So L I O N lion. L I O N lion. Where does the lion live, children? In, in a den. D E N den. What is this? Honey bee. Yes, honey bee. H O N E Y. Honey B E E B. Honey bee. Honey bee. Live in hive. H I V E. Hive. H I V E. Hive. Now, we'll see here. Need for shelter. This is the lesson reading, children, for you. Always keep your finger over or over the word that is if need is there you should keep your finger over here so that you can easily try to learn understand see need for shelter what is the need for shelter like for us there is a need for shelter right because a house protects us from danger right so like this the, the same thing for all living beings they need a shelter to live in all living beings need a shelter to live in. Animals live in different kinds of shelters. Like you have seen here, lion lives in den, right? Honeybee hive, bird nest. So like this, you can just see here, animals live in different kinds of shelters like trees, dens, nest, etc. We human beings build houses to live in. Do we live in den? Or hive or nest or tree? No. Instead we live in houses. We build houses and we live in. See need for shelter. All living beings need a shelter to live in. Animals live in different kinds of shelters like trees, dens, nests etc. We human beings build houses to live in. Now see what is house? House. All of us live in our houses, right? Yes, because our house protects us from bad weather. It also keeps us safe. The house has, it has a roof. See, a roof is there. Walls are there. Doors and windows. The walls divide a house into different areas or rooms, right? Think, all the walls so what they do? They divide us, right? They divide a house. That is, if this is a house, they are dividing the house into different areas or rooms. So, each room in the house has a special name, which we have seen in a previous video too, right? See, the dictation words, the keywords we have seen, roof, walls, doors, windows, the similar way for this too. See, then here's one more activity for you children. You see, here you need to name the rooms which we have already seen in a rooms rooms in a house. So which room is it where you will be having a towel, a tub is there, right? A bathtub is there, a sink is there, restrooms all are there. So which room? A room where people take bath, bathroom, B-A-T-H-R-O-O-M, bathroom, a room where people Cook food. See, a room where people cook food. Kitchen, yes. K-I-T-C-H-E-N, kitchen. A room where people eat food. See, dining room. D-I-N-I-N-G, dining. R-O-O-M, room, dining room. Next children, see. A room where people entertain their guest. Where people entertain their guest? Living room. Where people Make the guest to stay guest room. Okay. Here the guests are not staying. They are just coming and they are just going. So they just came 
us on a visit to meet us. See, so so a room where people entertain their guest. If someone comes to your home, so what you do? That is just they are coming, they are visiting your house, and they are seeing you. So that's you will make them sit in the which room? Living room. L i v i n g living r o o m living room. A room where people sleep at night. Bedroom. B e d r o o m bedroom. Next children, see the house we have seen. We will see now the types of houses. See houses are of two types depending upon the materials used to build them. It's two types. Kacha house, pakka houses. Okay. See the name itself. I will explain you. See houses made of mud. straw dry leaves etc are called kakacha houses see they are temporary see you know kakacha houses are temporary and are built mostly in villages these houses are not very strong because it's temporary it will not be very strong whereas you can see here houses made of bricks concrete wood steel etc are called pakka houses so these pakka houses are are, are temporary children no they are permanent and are built mostly in cities and towns these houses are stronger than kacha houses now children this is also a one more practice activity for you in which type of house do you live In which type of house do you live? Here, a here see, kacha house and pakka. So now you understand, understood what is kacha house? That is temporary. It's not very strong, and it's mostly built in villages. Whereas the pakka houses are, they are made up of bricks, concrete, wood, steel, and they are permanent and they are more stronger than the kacha house. So now, which house do you live in, children? Pakka house. Next name. Any two materials used to make the doors and windows of your house. See name. Any two materials used to make the doors and windows of your house. Here only one name is there. Wood. See here, wood. Now, houses can also be classified as temporary and permanent temporary houses means you can see here temporary houses kanti is a farmer means who is this kanti children kanti is a name of someone who is a farmer who lives in a hut with his family it is made of mud see this hut is called hut you can see here children this is called hut it is made of mud and thatch mud and thatch now hari belong this one now hari belongs to the desert of which is this desert of kachi his grandparents are nomads and live in a tent see this is a tent a tent is made of made of fabric like canvas or nylon nylon next children see what is this houseboat yes what is this the picture is of a houseboat so a, a boy named ajay who lives in kashmir in a houseboat it is a beautiful house built on a huge boat see a huge boat it floats on water you can see here then rehana is a gypsy girl she lives in a caravan with her family she lives in a caravan with her family it is a house on wheels it is a house on wheels then somu is a beggar you can see here children this one somu is a beggar he has no money to build a proper house he lives in a shack shack it is a sh shack means what it is a shelter made of waste material such as wood pieces broken drums cloth pieces etc so see so many types of houses we have seen in temporary now we will see the other see now in permanent houses see here uh, this one renu lives in a flat in a big apartment in bengaluru it is made of concrete wood steel etc this is a flat now this one deepa lives in a 
Kosi Cottage in Shimla. This is in Shimla. Yes, it has sloping roof for the rain and snow to slide down. It is made of cement, stone and wood. Now, what is this? It's a bungalow. Yes. Anu sleeps in a bungalow in Mumbai. It is a large house. Most bungalows have a garden also. So now we have seen children. What all we have seen? We have seen first see here. We have seen first the house. Types of houses. In that we have seen houses. The houses are, are classified into two types. They are kacha houses and pakka houses. So in kacha houses, temporary houses. We have seen so many types of houses. Right? Hut. Tent, houseboat, caravan, then shack house, right? Similar way for Apka houses here. We have seen permanent houses. That is called permanent houses. In permanent house, we have seen flat. What is this? Cottage, bungalow. Now we will see special houses. Special houses. See, special houses. You can see this image, children, this picture. Harish lives in a stilt house in Assam. It is built on a platform based on stilts or wooden poles. Stilt houses are made in areas where flood is common. As these houses are made at a height, the water cannot reach inside them during rainy season. This is called special houses, stilt house. Then what is this? An igloo. Oki lives in a very cold place in Canada. She lives in a special type of house called igloo. It is made of bricks of snow. Yes, it is made of bricks of snow. Now we will see the recall of this lesson types of houses. Lesson number 11. See, let us recall. All living beings need a shelter to live in. Houses made of mud, straw, dry leaves, etc. are called kacha houses. Houses made of brick, concrete, wood, steel, etc. are called akka houses. Huts, tents, caravans and houseboats are all temporary houses. Cottages, flats and bungalows are all permanent houses. You can just see here children. So in our next video we will just do a recall of the lesson as well as the exercises. Thank you children. Thank you for giving your precious time and watching the video. Please do subscribe if you have not yet subscribed.